Hey, this is M from Alpha Male Secrets, and in today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of my house. Basically, where I live, where I sleep, where I have sex, where I use the bathroom. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me, hey, show us your house, show us where you live. And as you know, I've shot a number of videos inside, mostly by my pool table. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to give you a full tour of basically my entire house so you can see what it's like in there. Now, just a quick update with what's going on with my channel. I know I haven't uploaded uh, any new videos in a while. I've been busy fulfilling my obligation to my pickup students as well as my 33 Secrets dating channel, which by the way, if you are not yet subscribed to my 33 Secrets dating channel, you want to do that ASAP. Uh, just type in the 33 Secrets right here in the YouTube search box. That'll take you over to my channel where you could get subscribed right now. And I believe we just crossed 50,000 subscribers, believe it or not. And right now I think we're sitting at over 7.5 million views across both of my channels, my Alpha Male Secrets channel, as well as my 33 Secrets dating channel. So thank you very much for supporting my work and thank you very much for supporting my channels. So without further ado, let's get started with the house tour. So right now we're outside of my house. Uh, as you can see behind me, I've got the oversized garage here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick 360 just so you can see my neighborhood. It's a pretty quiet neighborhood actually. I like it, it's nice, it's peaceful. Got an airplane <laughs> flying over my head here. Yeah, it's pretty quiet out here, which uh, is really important, especially when you are uh, working from your laptop like I am. As you guys know, I run my uh, pretty much my entire business from my laptop, which allows me to travel and kind of roam around. Uh, but uh, when I'm at home, I need that peace and quiet, and this neighborhood is super quiet, which is awesome, right? Okay, so there's the oversized garage. Let's go ahead and go on inside, and I'll show you uh, what the inside of my house looks like. All right, here we go. Welcome. So this is pretty much the inside, and as you can see behind me, here goes the pool table. This might look familiar because I shoot a lot of my videos here just because uh, on most days the lighting is really good, like right in this spot for some odd reason. And having a pool table is very, very important uh, just because it's fun, it's therapeutic, it's relaxing, and it's great for entertaining guests that you have over. In any case, let's go ahead and go on upstairs. So right now we're just walking up my stairs. Hopefully I don't uh, trip or anything like that. So this is the upstairs right here. And uh, as you can see, we could kind of see the street here from there. Now behind me here is the master bedroom. Uh, there's also a bathroom in there. And walking along right here, uh, we've got uh, two more bedrooms as well as uh, another bathroom. And right now I am upstairs. And you can see looking down at uh, our living room area here, which is pretty messy. Had some people over this weekend, so uh, we're still trying to clean up here. So let's go ahead and rock on downstairs. Okay, now right here is the living room area. Got a big screen TV here behind me. I don't really watch it. It's kind of just there uh, for decoration, I guess. Uh, but I don't really watch TV or movies anymore. As you guys know, uh, most movies made after the year 2000 are just injected with tons of feminism and leftist ideology and political correctness and uh, to the point where you can't even enjoy the movie anymore. So I really don't watch movies on here uh, unless I'm watching DVDs, uh, which I have a stack load of DVDs uh, of movies that were made prior to the year 2000. And you can see we've got the high ceilings which uh, I really like. I like high ceilings. All right, so moving along, uh, let me take you back this way to where uh, my kitchen is and the dining area. It's just kind of another area of the house where I like to chill and relax. We've got the kitchen behind me here. Again, it's pretty messy. There were a lot of people over here this weekend. It's kind of like a, a big get together and haven't had a chance to uh, clean up this mess. Uh, hopefully we can get the maid in here. Uh, somehow and uh, get her to <laughs> t 
take care of this. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, all the way behind me there, you can see the uh, garage. I'm not going to walk all the way back there, but the garage is back there. You got a couple of cars back there as well. Now behind me here is just another big screen television that uh, we don't watch. Got an array of alcohol back here. Uh, I guess it's just part of the decoration because I don't really drink. As you guys know, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do any drugs. Uh, it's never interested me to uh, destroy my health. And I live a pretty, uh, pretty healthy and pretty clean lifestyle, believe it or not. All right, let me go ahead and take you on outside. I don't think we've ever been out here in any of my videos, but this is basically the backyard area. So this is a backyard area that uh, I rarely spend any time in. I just never really make it back here. But uh, yeah, this is basically the back of the house. I mean, it's pretty decently sized for a backyard, but again, I don't really come out here. All right, so coming on back in, let me go ahead and shut this. As you can see, I'm not really good at these like MTV Cribs style house tours. I'm just basically <laughs> showing you my house uh, the best way I can. Now walking back this way, uh, I've got another bedroom here as well as another bedroom over here and a bathroom, another bathroom. You can never have enough bathrooms, right? So that is basically it in a nutshell. This is where I live. This is where I sleep. This is where I do all my work and all that other fun stuff. Now, will I still be living here, say a year from now, two years from now? The answer to that is most likely not. And the reason is for me personally, I like to keep moving in life. I like to keep my brain engaged and alert in life. And it's really hard to do that when you let yourself stagnate in life and you stay in the same place and you stay in the same job and you stay in the same town for years and years. Okay, and I've never understood people who do that. Like they stay in the same town for, you know, their entire lives, like 80 years and they never really ever leave. They're just in that same town. I like having that uncertainty in life where I don't know what's gonna happen just to keep me awake in life, just to keep me alert, just to keep life fun and interesting and adventurous. And that's why I don't plan on staying here really that much longer because I've already been here uh, a good year and a half now, right? Believe it or not, I've been in this house a year and a half. And uh, for me, it's time to move on. It's time to move on to the next adventure, the next quest, see what else is out there, keep exploring. Now. On that note, because a lot of you guys have asked me about real estate and buying property and investing, and now that you know kind of my lifestyle, here's my personal take on real estate investing. Although I'm kind of bouncing around a lot and I'm going from city to city, town to town, and I'm exploring all these new places, it doesn't mean that I'm not thinking about the future and I'm just philandering. I mean, because I am, and I do look at real estate often, uh, my personal take on real estate investing is what you want to do, especially if you're in my situation where you're working from your laptop or you're working remotely and you don't have to report to an office and you can kind of live where you want. What you want to do is you want to move into a piece of property, whether it be a home, a condo, townhouse, whatever. You want to move into that property and you want to live there for at least two to three years. Okay. You want to live there for two to three years, build up some equity, and then when you're ready to leave that property and move into your next property, what you want to do is you want to lease your property out to some renters. Okay. So you want to find some renters uh, that you could lease your property to put them in your house and let them pay off your mortgage. Basically let them build the rest of the equity for you in your home until it's fully paid off. And then once your house is fully paid off, guess what? That house is going to cash flow free and clear. It's going to cash flow for you. And so every time you move into a new house, you're just going to rinse and repeat. You're going to live there for two to four years, and then you're going to move out, move into your next property while you move in some renters and you lease that property to them. Let them pay off your mortgage, let them build your equity. And then once your house is fully paid off, once that house is fully paid off, then you have another home that's cash flowing free and clear. And then it should get to the point where you're in your sixties your seventies and you should have a portfolio of properties that are paid off that are cash flowing for you free and clear like a freight train 
right? That's what you ultimately want. You want money coming in each and every month. Not only are you going to have cash flow coming in each month from those properties, but they're gonna be paid off. You're gonna own them free and clear. So if you ever wanted to sell them, you could. But then again, why would you want to if they are cash flowing for you free and clear? You know, you're probably not gonna to wanna to do that. You're probably gonna to wanna to hand them down to uh, your, your kids or a family member, right? You're not gonna to wanna to let go of those properties. So that's basically my take on real estate. That's how I would go about uh, investing in real estate and that's what would work for someone in my situation where I like to keep moving around in life and I, I like to keep bouncing around. And even if you don't, even if you don't like to keep moving around in life, you still want to uh, build up a portfolio of properties throughout your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, maybe even your 60s, where you have these properties cash flowing you for you free and clear. Obviously, you want to choose a good neighborhood like, you know, like this one, for example. I think this is a pretty decent neighborhood where a family might want to live. Great thing about this house is, yeah, I could easily house, you know, two families, <laughs> maybe three. So yeah, that's how you want to go about real estate. Throughout your career, your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, you want to slowly and strategically build up uh, a portfolio of properties that will cash flow for you free and clear for the rest of your life. And by the way, that's, I mean, really, that's a secret to becoming wealthy, especially when you get older, to having, you know, a lot of money is, uh, you know, buy real estate, you know, but buy right, obviously do your due diligence, do your research, learn about real estate. You know, you don't have to become a master expert at it, but uh, definitely learn about real estate, learn how to buy real estate, learn about uh, how to buy real estate uh, subject to, which is another a whole new other video topic that I'll get into in the future. But just kind of wanted to give you this rundown on, you know, how I go about uh, investing in real estate, what my take is on it, how I feel about it, and yeah. So that's it. That's a house tour in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets, and I will see you in my next video.